Hey, Mom. Oh, Jeff, it's so good to see you. Good to oh, see you, too. Oh, gosh. I made some goodies there in the dining room. Come on out of the rain. Sweet. Honey, I feel so out of it. So tell me what's been going on. Well, I'm about to start my new job, and Stacy's buckling down to finish her last semester, and now whenever we get any time, it's devoted towards wedding planning. I know, I wish we lived a little closer. That way we could help out some. So how are the wedding plans going? And has Stacy decided when she's gonna come down and try the dress on so we can get it altered? Well, Mom, that's what I'm here to talk about. Okay. So mom, this is, this has been really tough. I want to honor you and dad, but I'm become, starting to get to this point in life that I need to honor my future wife. And when the two of you disagree, yeah, it's becoming really difficult. What do you mean disagree? I know since I've been your only child and you've, you've been dreaming of this day, this. I know you've dreamt of my bride wearing the family dress and the traditional music, the, the perfect wedding. Honey, I have been dreaming about this. This day, this special day, and it's gonna be a perfect day! Yes, Mom, it is, but here's the thing. We have to think of another person here, Stacy. She's not just an imaginary bride. And she's grown up her whole life with the vision of her perfect wedding too. We, we can't just stick with the original version. Oh honey, I've never thought of it that way before. So Stacy and I have been trying to figure out a way that we can both honor her and you. I understand, Jeff. And before we go any further, I want you to know that yes, I have gotten excited about this day. You're my only child. I mean, that's just the way I'm gonna be. But I want you to know that the most important thing to us and me is you and Stacy. It's gonna take me some time to get used to this. You have to understand that. But it's you and Stacy becoming one. That is what our focus is gonna be. Mom, thank you. That was exactly what I needed to hear. As, as Stacy and I have been moving forward with this engagement, we've been struggling with how do we become one? I, I know it, you know, it means we need to keep God first above everything else, but I don't know, I, that's just exactly what I needed to hear. I, I was praying about it the whole way here. Oh, I'm so excited to hear that you and Stacy are putting Christ first in your life and your relationship. It's a good reminder to me. You know, that's what we have to remember, that when it all boils down to everything, it's putting Christ in the center of you and Stacy. So it's you, Stacy, and Christ. And you know, I bet God's not sitting up there wondering what the dress is that she's going to wear or what music you're going to sing. <laughs> Probably not. But I know those things mean something to you, and Stacy and I want to honor that. So, we, we came up with an idea. Something you might like. Oh, I love that song. I know you do. And the words mean so much to me, so much to me and Stacy. Well, I think this looks fantastic. As for the dress, Stacy would like to make some alterations. Something that is a little bit more her style. Well, that's just fine. Let's take a look. Oh, I love it. 